Vivekanand says, If faith in ourselves had been more extensively taught and practiced, I am sure a very large portion of the evils and miseries that we have would have vanished. Now you see, faith is a very big part of spirituality, religion in both East and West. But there is a fundamental difference. Vivekananda is talking about faith in oneself and not just faith in a higher power. He is not talking about a belief in that which is not accessible to us in a palpable form of which we have no real proof but to have a faith within your own being. Find faith in the reality of your own being. And this is a very defining factor of Vedanta, of Hinduism as such. It says that only through self-faith can you have faith in the larger, the vaster. The first step should not begin with a belief in a higher entity. No, that way Hinduism is very different from Abrahamic religions. It does not take a passive stance where you simply believe in what somebody from the pulpit is telling you. No. It says... The conscious mind should suffuse its own self with a spontaneous faith. Then only does it become strong, then only does it become luminous, then only does it become courageous. And all other virtues in life start accruing to it. Without this self-faith, there can be actually no faith in the higher. It will only be a pseudo-faith. Hence, Vedanta is very practical. Vedanta is full of a deeper wisdom. Vedanta tells us that you don't need to exclude yourself when it comes from the idea of belief and faith. Your own energy is so palpable. Your own energy is so real. First, believe in that. Strengthen that. Then can you come into a dialogue with the higher, with the vaster, with God. Come into a dialogue first with your own energy, your own internal energy. Transform that and you meet with higher energy. And when you meet with higher energy... Prayer is spontaneous. Drop the illusions that you are to have faith in a higher path. There is simply no need for it on the Vedantic path. First have a friendliness towards yourself. First have a faith towards yourself. Then you will find all that is worthy of finding. What is wisdom? Wisdom dawns when you have self-understanding and the very crux of Hinduism is self-understanding. Self-understanding through truth, self-understanding through consciousness, self-understanding through perception and self-understanding through faith. These are the pillars of Hinduism. These are the pillars upon which the entire Hinduism is based. And Vivekananda was very clear about it. He was saying that if we ourselves are not rooting our existence in self-faith, there is absolutely, it is absolutely absurd to have faith in a higher power. So, he was talking from a purely Vedantic point of view. That if there is synchronicity between within yourself, then only does the synchronicity between yourself and the cosmic power arise. Find a sync between yourself and your own heartbeat at a spiritual level, not just at the physical level, not just at the biophysical level. Learn to offer yourself that much respect 
your being has great capacities your internal being has a great ability to transcend the ordinary to understand higher reality to understand higher truth respect it and real respect is that which creates faith which creates trust trust yourself that is the crux of vivekananda's message that is it at its very pith and core through understanding this through absorbing this you become utterly transformed your awareness becomes transformed your attention becomes transformed you are able to go beyond your anxieties and you are able to come into a situation where no bodily limitation can worry you no material limitation can worry you that faith you have is not faith in the power position you hold it is not in the material riches that you have no it is in the inner treasure it is in your capacity for joy it is in your capacity for bliss it is in your capacity for transcending unto great spiritual heights that is what you must put your faith in that is the natural way of faith that is the only security you can have in life people talk about security people talk about feeling a sense of fearlessness but the only way to ultimately do that is to have faith in yourself else who can create security for you life is uncertain if you want security in your life if you want strength in your life remember that right now in this here and now you have intense faith in all that has been imbued into you by existence make that a sankalp make that a determination make that a will make that a matter of pure determination that yes i will start having an immense faith and trust in my own being from this moment on that itself fills you with a deep bliss a deep silence a deep absolute tranquility and that tranquility is the state of the warrior that tranquility is the state of the person who is ready to take on any challenges in life that state of being is the state of being with which arjun ventures into the battle of kurukshetra after the episode of the bhagavad gita when the lord has illumined his mind in self faith and in faith of the higher that is the beauty of the gita and in a way vivekananda has distilled the learnings of the upanishads the learnings of the gita the learning of the ashtavakra gita the learning of the yog vashisht maharamayana and all the great hindu texts he has distilled it in a very short life a life of not even 40 years and a few years of teaching he has distilled it and he has presented it in a manner which is able to give us the very essence the very juice of the path of the rishis there is no need to venture around and keep looking at texts no it is important to get to the essence of the texts it is important to get into the whole energy vibe of the text and the energy vibe of vivekananda is one of self strength self faith self power he says that is what transforms you that is vivekanand in a nutshell and such a person who can have self faith only such a person is of any value in the world you can't don't have self faith what value will be you be to others trust yourself love yourself vivekanand stresses that again and again don't let any circumstance disturb you make you hopeless about yourself never feel hopeless you are much larger than circumstances you are a child of the universe itself that is the vedantic position that is the position of sankhya that is the position of all of the indian darshanas the philosophies the theologies the mysticism all together this one truth of self faith soham tatvamasi you are part of that ultimate truth believe in it you are more powerful than you can ever imagine it is like that old story of hanuman 
before venturing into Lanka, he forgets his own powers. And all the others in the Vanar Sena have to encourage him and remind him through the episodes in his own childhood about how powerful he is, about the wondrous things he's done. And then Hanuman has self-faith. So the f- And he grows to his Virat troop. His great form, he finds himself suffused with energy. He is filled with self-faith. But of course, there is another factor. He is filled with faith for his lord, Ram, also. You know, there is a very interesting story about Krishna and Rukmani sitting in Dwarka. Of course, that is in a different yug. But nonetheless, Hanuman goes and visits them. And Krishna assumes the form of Ram. Now, Rukmani says... But Lord, he is coming to meet you. You and Ram are embodying the same thing, the same higher truth. What is the need to change your form? And Krishna says, Rukmini, you don't understand. Hanuman loves and has immense faith in Lord Sri Ram. Hence, I take that form out of compassion. And that is what happened. Hanuman came to tears when he saw Lord Krishna himself had transformed himself into the form of Ram momentarily just to meet Hanuman. But of course that is the other aspect of faith in the higher power. It all begins in our own world ultimately. Our own world is the only one we can attest, is the only one we can rely on to be real. The throb of your own heart is real. The pulse of your own heart is real. Listen to that. That is the seat of prayer. That is the seat of faith. That is the seat of Seat and the seed of all the flowering, all the fruition that your potentiality can come to. Hence, believe in yourself. Never be hopeless. You are full of that divine grandeur yourself.